So, hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're going to play uh, Send Me Your Failed Save Game campaign and I'll somehow restore it. This is uh, still the Psionic Failed Run. It's meanwhile, I think, episode 8 and we're coming to this point where I get a good grasp on, on the whole campaign and where I think I'm almost done salvaging it. We are getting the couple, la uh, the last couple of missions in, one of which is going to be an extraction of yet another VIP, getting some intel, getting another engineer. So the idea of this mission really is to send in um, whomever we have available. Um, if you remember, most of our guys in the, um, in the medical bay were sick. So we're putting Lieutenant Robertson and Lieutenant Tanaka in there. Uh, one of uh, both of them might even get their promotion to sergeant, um, uh, to captain, sorry. And with a captain promotion, hopefully, we can get squad size upgrade too, which is one of the things that I definitely still want to do. Um, Praetor Mox and Pavlova will round up the team. We still got our mimic beacon, and uh, yeah, a pretty well equipped team of squaddies. So, I made up my mind, I think I'll declare this campaign to be unstuck and hand it uh, back over once we got uh, A, an armor upgrade for everyone, and B, reduce the avatar um, timer to a reasonable level so that the player can continue um, doing the missions uh, by himself. I think with the necessary weapon upgrades, maybe we're even trying to go and, and uh, research one or two uh, important corpses so that with proving grounds the, the person could upgrade um, at least the med packs and so on. So once we have established all of that, I think that it is safe to say that um, any player could then continue on Legendary Iron Man with this uh, level of um, setup. I think we have then sufficiently caught up. I want to make sure that he has one team that he can uh, that he can rely on. And yeah, we're about to build up that team. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Let's see, it's still month number six. This time we got our VIP. We're coming in hot. There is no one who is um, concealed, so might as well a useful aid. start to scout out and see if there are any enemies. Like there are only two buildings, this is this building and the next one, which means if we have successfully captured this building, we will most likely take the high ground here and then the, uh, the mission is uh, probably already over. Taking full cover over here. And getting our first enemy pack. Double sectoid plus muton. The muton needs to die. The sectoids are not so much of a problem. At least not in the first round. Let's get rid of most of the copper. Bang. Very nice. Is Newton still standing in cover? No, he isn't. Well, he would be from this side, but we're not attacking him from this side. Still got the Mimic Beacon if needed. I'm wondering, unfortunately, the Mutant is really still in cover. That's unfortunate. Because this here is indestructible. Should have known better. Position confirmed. 
pretty much means we need to continue shredding him and get him out of cover. I'm still somewhat motivated to kill the mutant this turn. It's just getting extremely difficult the longer we wait. Plus, to be fair, the mutant has a grenade and the mutant also has a huge melee attack. Okay. So he's down to three hit points. Which means any positioning right next to him should be an auto hit. This here is burning, unfortunately. That's the only thing that I don't like. I go as ordered. But this here is is cover. It's not full cover. It's half cover, but it's still solid. Spin. And the second one is going to shoot. Kill, kill, kill them all. Okay. They are predictable, indeed. Out of curiosity, if we were, no, we can't. I see a might one shot the sector. Almost. With the stock that we do have. We can move up to here and kill the sector. Oh, wait a second. Never mind. I was about to say. We can move up to here and kill the sector because we do have a stock on this weapon now. Advanced stock to be precise. So that's a secure kill. Which opens up the mind control. I don't want to uh, waste lightning hands yet. Come on. Wow. Okay. Very unlucky. The sector in it will mind spin next turn. So we're fine for now. better um, shooting position and there's the next pack I think we're going to trigger it well we're not fighting exactly from high ground but so far I would say we're doing reasonably well even with not fighting from high ground so I think that's okay So this should get rid of the cover of the Sun Lancer and maybe the cover of the Advent Priest. Well, it's got the Sun Lancer, but not the Priest. Okay. Moving closer. Killing the stun launcher first. Very good. We need to be a bit greedy because we uh, will require loot. If we're always passing on loot, I can't really upgrade with the PCSs. So hopefully this is a PCS. 
Well, it's an advanced hair trigger, which isn't bad. You can use that for the weapons, and the Alarium Core is also good. It basically equals 27 um, supplies. To that position. Moving up. No Thinking about speed. pulling him in. Unfortunately, not successful. Yeah, in this position, our um, our high ground would be helpful. I mean, this is a 50-50, which isn't great. Let's not kill ourselves. I would like to start with the priest because he's probably going to mind control next turn. Or stasis. No, he's probably going to stasis next turn. And I just want to make sure that we're prepared. Moving to position. There's the stasis I was talking about. Purifier will probably double move. Nope. He's an idiot. He shoots into a stasis and decides to not take cover. That was really bad. I mean, the AI com seldom completely fucks up, but that was a blunder. Prato can get a, sh a kill. My Unfortunately, missed. Now it's time for lightning hands. Enemy eliminated. And this here could be another kill. Psy characters don't have um, grenades as far as I'm concerned, so we could cluster up without um, without being in the damage of uh, being in the risk of taking a grenade. We don't need the concealment; it's not a very good uh, reward. I'm thinking about whether or not I would want to move up. I don't think that he has a grenade. Let me check. You can usually see whether or not they wear one on their belt. But he clearly has none. So, no grenade. We're dealing damage with a stock. Which means one more hit or one more shot at him. And he's going to be down. Most likely going to mind control. Yep, there we go. Get out of my head. Of new cover. All right, eight turns for us. Here. Of course, we're pulling another at and pack. Not a big one, though. And if we play our cards right and kill this guy here, we should be fine. Definitely need to take out the Advent Priest. It's going to fall into stasis. There we go. Already. 
Yep, moving. And... Hmm. Well, you know... Let's take a look real quick. Positioning. Positioning ourselves on top of the roof. I will move. The elders send their okay, we need a mimic beacon this turn. I was about to say. So far it doesn't look that bad. But yeah, the game again told me, it uh, taught me, that you shouldn't Shouldn't celebrate too early. Yeah, we only got 50 50s. Grenade out. We're starting with a trooper. Stun Lancer is going to be next. And we're definitely mimic beginning. So his action is reserved. Moving, to Moving from position. one half cover to another full cover. This here is hopefully going to kill him. Very well. Kill confirmed. Which brings me to the stun lancer. Solid. Almost 70% chance, which I appreciate. Going to take the shot. He had a couple of good options this run, but he somewhat always missed the important shots. Not a very good trade for a sniper, missing the important shots. So this here is a Mimic Beacon that everyone could see, which means the Viper will move there, the uh, Stun Lancer will move there, and many of the others will also move there. Unfortunately, the almost dead, <clears throat> the almost dead um, Advent Priest will move there as well. So much for the Mimic Beacon. We're going to see another stasis from uh, the other Sun Lancer. And the Purifier is probably going to double move. Nope. Wow, they cluster up perfectly for a grenade. Unfortunately, I think unfortunately we don't have any grenades left over. So bad. Yeah. The one time that you have lined them up just like ducks in a row. It's that one time when you don't have your your grenade left over. Anyhow, freeze down, good old plus one flanking shot. It's killing time. We could go with a flashbang, but we do have very, very good odds on the stun lancer, which I think we're going to take 80% is pretty good. <sighs> What's wrong with him? Oh yeah. I mean, let's be clear, we need to kill some of these guys. Kill so that's a no-brainer. We're probably going to be terribly mutilated with our um, support specialist uh, by the Viper. So at least the Stun Lancer needs to die. Come on. 
See? That's my girl. At least I can make sure that she's hitting. Our sniper, high strength, uh, high strength soldier in the whole mission, had his fair share of problems. Uh, that's only two points of damage. Binding is not too bad, and he's not going to flame him. Are you shitting me? He's trying to flame his own viper. Wow. I don't know what it is with these purifiers, but boy oh boy, they are so bad this mission. Alright, 60% to immediately kill it. Come on, redeem yourself this one time. There we go. armor is not nothing to sneeze at moving on we have only three hit points left but that's fine we're just going to thank him like a boss That's my boy. All right. No need to ask twice. So we only got one injury so far. Still got enough time, in my opinion, to get the hell out of here. The evac zone is right, right up here. Good copy. Moving on target. Which means, unless we're completely messing it up, this here should Moving be a no-brainer. He can heal himself next turn, and or just stand there. Cradle can just grab it over here like a boss. Bam, there you go. Guess what? We only have one person who's notoriously late, our sniper. I'm all over it. Needs to motor a little bit. He was sitting in that like position throughout the whole map. And he missed every single shot with the exception of one dead eye. Killing the Viper. Getting the VIP out of here. The fire is slowing the FPS down just a little bit. Enough to be annoying, to be honest. VIP secure and in position for you. VIP is secure. Let's heal ourselves. It's not really uh, changing the uh, the amount of days that we're going to spend in the sick bay. Um, days in the sick bay are determined by the minimum number of hit points that you have during a mission so it actually doesn't matter at the end of the mission whether or not you heal yourself up just in time moving okay i would say pretty solid mission i mean one wounded soldier is squatty Otherwise, 
with the weapon upgrades and really five five people it's a pretty uh, solid starter and despite the destruction left in their way, i think in terms of research first priority is going to be uh, to now unstuck uh, the armor research we need higher hit points as well as we can't survive second priority then is going to get some sort of ammunition so we're either going to um, uh, to to start um, building the ammunition or we're researching um, robotics for blue screen lines which personally i think is anyways the best ammunition so that would be a huge breakthrough and probably then um, mutants plus viper so again for the person who's uh, who is owning that safe game i would highly recommend go for the medical protocol it just increases the survivability return fire not my favorite skill um total combat is okay if you want to throw a mimic beacon before ending your turn i like the other abilities a little bit later so i will just save the points for Pratel. Uh, you could theoretically build him up uh, with return fire and reflex, so he's kind of tanking and whenever he's taking shots, he takes shots back and uh, then also gains more um, more action points next turn. That's fine, but it's not a playstyle that I would necessarily encourage. You should kill the enemies before they even have a chance of hitting you. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive All right, work. let's start excavating here. Gosh, that will take a while. Let me see. I mean, if we would have 80 supplies, right? We could free up the engineer here and let the engineer work in this area. So next time we get supplies, let's just remember to do that. Are you going to show me that he has a promotion throughout the whole effing game? Wow. As if the aliens didn't have enough annoying spokespeople, now we have these chosen running around, lecturing us day and night. So, the last time we wanted to continue uh, getting the scientists, because we only have four scientists, and I told you that I wanted to make sure um, that we're having like the solid foundation. And in my perspective, having a good research rate um, is part of having a solid foundation. Advent, bending, read. Uh, Advent Sun Lancers have a chance to move after performing a melee attack. That is a pretty, pretty bad dark event. Uh, it just makes us kill them even more and faster. Priority message coming There's through. the supply drop. Putting it on screen now. It is this is what we did. This is, by the way, how a successful month is going to look like. Um, you have countered everything and you had only a very, very limited amount of things happening to you. Permanently lowering XCOM's income, not a problem. And not a problem. This year we need to prepare, uh, prevent that, definitely. Uh, the undying, lo undying loyalty is also bad. We don't want to lose uh, soldiers and then let them come back as zombies. But uh, Viper Rounds means uh, we permanently are poisoned if we're being hit. And that could become very nasty very soon. We're increasing the Shredder part. Uh, that's the most important part. I was thinking about uh, increasing XP as well by 10%. But we're currently not having any other uh, options. Uh, we're going to try to get one of the slots for each of them probably for xp i like the stay with me and i wouldn't change that 
then we're getting plus 10% uh, supply drops. Because the ambushes are actually not too bad, you get gra gratis missions. Um, and that means more experience, which we can very much use now. Okay, we got some supplies. Let's do what we said originally, which is upgrade the power relay. Power relay which means upgraded. we can free up the engineer here and put her over here that means we can excavate faster and actually build faster which is a great opportunity for us we're chucking off more from the advent uh, progression got some supplies mobility permanently increased by one and two progress reduced that's just very good to disrupt the elders plans has presented itself and my followers are eager to proceed well nine days for pro uh, project reduction and nine dodge nine dodge is really good uh, avatar project progress reduction 10 days and aim Wow, these guys are, are trying to make it so deliciously good to take these avatar uh, reduction projects. So I, I think I'm not going to say no to it. And you know what, in terms of aim, let's give this to our sharpshooter. Preventing, uh, preventing that he's going to be captured and Praetor Mox can join him. I'm thinking hmm, probably during the 10 days we're going to find uh, during the next uh, 10 days whilst this mission is uh, going on we're most likely going to be forced to do one mission. Do we have an alternative sharpshooter? Yes, we do. So let's give him the plus aim. That's not a bad idea. And we're reducing the avatar progress. That's even a better idea. Seven more days until plated armor. Great. As trusted allies, I ask that you aid my kind in the battle ahead. Oh, hello. So we got an engineer. Uh, we got 104 into, and apparently a lieutenant, Timmermans, sharpshooter. Um, yeah. I mean, well. That's definitely a good mission. Uh, Advent have retreated from this area, leaving only large amounts of loss. <laughs> All right, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer mission. Setting course for Brazil. We're getting two. We're getting two. Uh, let me get that straight. We're getting two units plus Intel, Commander, which we can use to buy stuff from uh, from the market. Will and all we need to do is um, kill loss. <laughs> That's not going to be difficult. Definitely not. Anyways, I'm going to prepare that, guys, and we're going to see each other in the next mission. See you in a second.